Our next topic is something that you may not be using on your farm today, but I'd be willing to bet you within the next 10 years you will be using it, and this is plant growth regulator. A lot of times when we talk about plant growth regulators, people say, well, you mean 2,4-D or dicamba? <laughs> that, that's not what we're talking about. We aren't talking about using them for weed control. We're talking about them to stimulate growth in our crops to try and get better yield potential, get more foliage, so we have more forage to harvest. You know, depending on which crop you're talking about, whether it's pasture or a row crop or really anything. Well, just to give you a little background story on this, Darren and I get to travel around the world and around the country seeing some of the top farms that are out there. It's, it's really a privilege and we're honored by that. But one of the things that we find very commonly when we go to some of these top producers is guess what? They're using plant growth regulators. We were even over in Israel a couple of years ago, you know, and we figured, oh, it's gonna be dangerous, you know, agriculture, you know, it's probably gonna be okay, but we weren't looking for the most leading technology with everything. And you know what? We ended up talking to guys that were using plant growth regulators. Well, they were using it in a number of different crops, but when you've got a small land mass, like in the country of Israel, they have to have high production techniques in the small amount yep. of land that they have. There's one producer that was raising flowers, for example, and he had just fantastic flowers. They're all the same size. They all had about the same amount of blooms. The root growth was fantastic in them. They, they just literally filled the pots with roots. We said, wow, how did you get that to happen? And he said, well, that's easy. I do plant growth regulators to simulate root growth. I do plant growth regulators to limit the height of the plant and get it to bush out more. I use plant growth regulators to stimulate flowering. There are many different uses for plant growth regulators. And in a high dollar crop like flowers in that case, yeah, you can afford to try a lot of those things. But when it gets to corn and soybeans and wheat, we say, boy, I don't know if we can afford to do those kind of things. Yep, so what some of the companies have done is they're sneaking them in there on you. So for example, right now, you might be getting your soybean seed treated with Acceleron or Trilux 6000. Well, did you know that both those products have plant growth regulators in them? With the Acceleron, it's got a Harpin protein. With the Trilux 6000, it's got a different kind of plant growth regulator, but they both have plant growth regulators to stimulate plant growth and they don't really advertise that or promote that. I just kind of find that interesting. Well, there are some commercially available products that really aren't all that expensive. One that we've tried on our farm for a few years now is called Mega Grow. It seems to work very well for us. It stimulates root growth and early growth, and also we've been mixing it in with the Roundup that we're spraying. It seems to stimulate plant growth after a herbicide application, which is always good. Well, another new one that's come out now is called Rise Up smart grass and you would use this out in your pasture to get earlier growth in the spring and more growth in the fall. And they say that with this rise up, and we're, we're trying a little bit on our farm, they say with the rise up, it's not gonna help our grass production in the summertime. All it's gonna do is instead of our grass being ready to go for livestock, let's call it April 15th, now it might be ready March 20th or something like that. So we gain a little bit of time in the spring. We gain a little bit of time in the fall and that's where the big benefit is. Yeah, it's not something that's for right now, this time of year, it's for as you get towards later on in the fall, temperatures start cooling down, grass growth slows down a little bit. It's to stimulate that growth and keep it going a little more. You can get theoretically more livestock on fewer acres of pasture. That's a good thing. Or get that last cutting of grass hay. Yeah, so we're not going to sit here and tell you that, oh, for sure you've got to use Acceleron or Trilex that have plant growth regulators, or for sure Mega Grow fits on every single acre, or the same thing with the Rise Up Smart Grass. But you know what? These products, it seems like, have a pretty good fit in a lot of areas, and there are more plant growth regulators that will continue coming on the market, and I assume they're going to get better and better as time goes on. So we want you to at least be thinking about plant growth regulators, probably even trying some on your farm, so when the time comes, when you realize, ooh, I'm gaining five bushels, I'm gaining 10 with this product or that product, you're ready to go, you're comfortable with them, you've been experimenting with them, and now you're willing to make that investment on a lot of acres to get a lot of gain. We're always curious what the next thing coming in agriculture yep. is that's gonna add to some yield. Uh, plant growth regulators are one of those next things that's coming. Now, unfortunately, they aren't helping us out very much with our weed control with weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to get it under control later in the show.